help you. Um, I, uh, I'd like a number three. Okay, number three. What you drinking? Mm, bean sprout shake. Don't be silly. Uh, about a weak germ delight, maybe. Of course not. All right, I give up. What is it? Carrot cocktail. Yes, I had to ask. <clears throat> what are you doing here? I came to talk to you. God knows I wouldn't eat in a place like this. It wouldn't do you any harm the way you eat. Yeah, well, give me pizzas and burgers anytime. How did you know I was here? I went to the hospital. They told me you'd be doing something nutritious for yourself. Yeah, well, it must be pretty important for you to come all the way over here. Yeah, I got some news. Oh, Lord, I hope it's good. It was great. Well, at least I think it's great. I mean, you might have a few questions, you know. Sure. I got a job. Uh-huh. Are you okay? Fine. Well, don't you want to know what my job is? Very much. Well, it's not exactly what you'd call, uh, I don't know, I mean, you wouldn't expect me to do it or anything, but, it, I mean, it is honest. I'm a runner in a gambling casino. That's nice. Yeah, you got a job. Gambling. You don't want a gambling casino? Is it in town? Well, I'm not going to commute. Mm hmm So how did it happen? What, the gambling or the job? Mm hmm Both. Oh. Well, Luke and this D.L. Brock guy uh, about the old Greenwood place. Mm hmm Right, yeah. I heard about that. I mean, Luke knows what he's doing. I mean, I'm sure it's a good thing and everything. I went up and asked him for a job. Next stop, the bank. Thank you. Well, you must be just thrilled. Mostly I'm confused. What's going on here? Huh? What? I mean, I think there's something wrong with your hearing. Testing, test, test. I hear every word you're saying. Well? Do you want something to eat? No. No, I don't want to eat this rabbit food, no. This is health food. Well, same difference. No, I, I don't want it. No, I pass. Whatever. Dr. Weber? Uh-huh. A message for you. Dr. Quartermain called. Hmm? They need you at the hospital clinic. Oh, yeah, right. Thank you. Sure. Guess I better go. Wait, 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 wait. I, uh, okay, honestly now, what do you think? About what? About my new job. Um, I think you need something to do this summer. That's all you have to say about it? Um... I'm... I'm thrilled for you. Well, we'll keep me off the streets. Absolutely. Otherwise, you're liable to get involved with the wrong people. You ready to go? Maybe it's the food. What? What? Well, I, I, just, I just don't understand you. Why do you keep saying that? Because. I, I, I walked in here all ready for a big fight and everything. I had a big defense plan worked out. And, and I come in here and I drop the bomb on you, and, and you act like we're talking about the weather or something. I don't understand. What gives here? I trust your judgment. Since when? No need to get nasty. I better go tell Rick. Maybe he'll yell at me. Somebody is supposed to yell at me. Wait. It's for volunteer report to Dr. Detroit for the bird board. No stink dog. Be quiet, this is a hospital. Oh, really? I haven't noticed. Is Rick around here? What do you want him for? I've got to talk to him. About what? I'm a new job. You got a job? Yes. Doing what? Well, if you really must know, Amy, I'm working for Luke in the casino. You're gonna get in so much trouble for that. Amy, just, just be quiet, right? Is he here or not? Uh-huh. Please, go ahead. He's right in his office. Uh, Tell him. I will. Doc Rick, I... Yeah, yeah. What, Blackie? Uh... I forgot what I was going to say. Well, I sure don't know what you were going to say. What? 
Um, I gotta talk to you a second. Fine, let's talk. Go in private, if you have a minute. Sure. You want me to leave? No, no, you stay here with these funds. Wait, 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 wait. Why don't you introduce me to this nice young lady? Charlie, this is Blackie. Blackie, this is Charlie. Hello. Hi. Well? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you, you wanted to talk, right? Remember? Right. Shall we? Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Back to you. Right. Uh, Charlie, it was real, it was real nice meeting you. I'll be back this way. Thank you. Where did you find her? She is a student. Now, what's on your mind? I got a job. Great, congratulations. What are you doing? I'm, I'm kind of like a messenger. A messenger for who? For Luke. Why does Luke need a messenger? For his casino. The mayor and the city council bought it, huh? Yeah. And you work for Luke? Yeah, I want to be a runner. Well, are you here to ask me something, or are you telling me these facts? Well, I just figured you might want to know. Yeah, I do want to know, Blackie. I appreciate your telling me. I just don't necessarily agree with your choice of summer employment. Well, there's not that much summer employment around. Yeah, well, a gambling casino is no place for a young man to be. Dr. Why? Because of the kind of people that are around the gambling institutions. That's why. And you like Luke? No, Luke is old enough to make a decision. Luke is old enough also to take care of himself. And so am I. I just don't know if I like the idea of gambling for the entire city of Port Charles. That's all. But I'm sorry you have to take such a hard stand, but as to your logic, I can't argue with it. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to come down so strong and everything about moving out and stuff, but I just want you to know that I'm old enough to make my own decisions. I can take care of myself. Lucky, I hope so. I really do. Just that the people that you're going to run into around a gambling institution are a, a far cry from a college student. Don't worry, I can tell the difference. Like your friend inside there. John? Yeah, where'd you find her? I didn't find her, she found me. Ooh, that's even better. <laughs> Lucky, what do you mean by that? Oh, come on, man. She's great. Where, where, where is she from? She's a medical student. She happens to be an exceptionally brilliant one. Hmm. I bet she's great. Look, I know Louie's probably not around there, and when she gets there, she's probably gonna be in a pretty foul mood. But listen, I just know. But tell her, tell her for me. Stay there. What are you doing here? I thought that you were done for the day. No, I just went out for a while. Something wrong? Yeah. Headache. Feel better now? Oh, I certainly hope she's gone by now. She? <clears throat> Hello. Wait a minute. Goodbye. Not so fast. I want to talk to you. I'm sorry, I don't have time. Make it. What was this about a new job? I already told you. Tell me again. I was thinking of something else at the time. Sorry, I've got to go, buddy. Oh. I'll see you. Look, isn't there a law against trying to man twice for the same crime? Not in this family. Well, I've already had one lecture today. Not from me. I didn't hear a word you said. Oh. Well, you said you were going to loan me 50 bucks. That I would remember. Well, then you better listen next time. Look, uh, he's already talked to me once today. Who did, Rick? What did he say? Well, he said that uh, he's going to live with it and that I'm old enough to make my own decisions, that's all. He said that? Well, kind of something like that. I mean, it was, it was in that general vicinity of, of that. Uh-huh. I think I'll talk to him myself. Well, I'll go talk to him for you. What, are you a glutton for punishment? Well, I want to see that assistant of his. Boy, she can file my files anytime. I think she's got her hands full right now. I don't understand. Approach from the other side. Well, uh, let me show you. All right, on the conventional procedure, you come in through here. Where? Right down through here. The other procedure, you'd come in through the reverse, through there. Why? No, it's safer. It's a little slower. And there are times that you do need, however, to move faster. Ah, uh, I know. It's a little more dangerous, however. How? Well, there are a number of possible complications that can arise. Oh. Still, it's worth it. What? Getting involved. With the other kind of approach, I mean. Well, as long as you're aware of the potential for trouble. I'll say. Oh, hi. How did you come in? Obviously. What's going on? Why don't you tell me? Sir? Nothing. Nothing important. I can see how. Busy you are. Oh, we were talking about the heart. Oh? 